Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to convert a Shopify website to HTML in 2023. Converting your Shopify website to HTML allows you to have a statistic version or static version of your site that can be hosted on any web server. This can be useful if you want more control over your website hosting or if you're looking to make custom modifications to the design. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process step by step so make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps. In my case, I'm actually going to use Brave Browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you want to use or whatever preferred browser that you want or that you have. And of course, to convert your Shopify website to HTML, you will need to access the your theme files. So simply log into your Shopify store by going to this URL section, of course, then type in shopify.com and this will take you to the home screen or main screen. So if you have an account, make sure to go and log in into it. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and click on start free trial and make sure to go and create your account and your store on whatever it is. You can, of course, scroll down to and read more information about Shopify if you don't know much about it. So for me, I'm just going to log in into my account. So this is my storage example or website. And of course, as we said, we have to convert your, if you want to convert our Shopify website to HTML, I will need to access the theme files. So once I logged in into my account, I'll have to go into this online store option. And once I click on it, make sure to go and click on this theme option. Of course, once you do so, you will access your Shopify theme files. So let me just remove this. So here, as you can see, you'll be able to add some themes, customize your website, or even upgrade to a plan if you want. You can even view your store from here if you want to. So let me just close this one. So simply, you can go to this three dots right here on the left, so customize. And as you can see, you'll be able to click on edit code. Once you click on edit code, as you can see, you'll be able to edit your theme files. For the theme you want to convert, uh, of course, this will open the theme editor where you can access and download the theme files. As you can see, you'll find every theme file here from the layout, from the templates, sections, snipp snipped uh, config, assets, and local. So in the theme editor, of course, you will see a list of themes. As you can see, files on this left side, click on each file and download it to your computer and make sure to save the files in a dedicated folder for easy management. Of course, how to download it, you can simply go to every one of them. And of course, you'll have to go and copy the code and paste it into a text or a word or whatever you want to. And of course, make sure to save everything into a folder that I said before, a dedicated folder for easier management. And of course, you will have to go and create a new HTML file using a text editor or an HTML editor uh, for your choice or of your choice. Started by setting up the basic HTML structure, including like the doc type, a declaration, HTML tag, head section, and the body section. You can also link a CSS file if you want to apply custom styles to your HTML. Of course, you can go to whatever of them. You can simply go and add a new layout, as example, and you can even put a password for it and choose the duplicate file. And of course, once you choose everything, click on done. And of course, you'll have to go and copy the and paste the Shopify theme code. So in your folder where you downloaded the Shopify themes example files, you'll have to go and open the layout and template option. As you can see, those two uh, folder and make sure to go and locate the theme liquid. You'll find this on the layout, as you can see right here. Or even index liquid uh, file, which is the main template file of your Shopify theme. Of course, open the file and copy the entire contents and go back to your HTML file and paste it to the Shopify theme code within the body section. So, for example, go to the theme liquid, go and copy everything by clicking on Control A, Control C, and go and paste it on your HTML wherever you create your HTML file. And of course, once you open this, uh, once you copy everything, you will, as I said, you will have to go and open this file and copy the entire content, go back to your HTML file and paste it to the Shopify theme code within the body section, of course. And then in the Shopify theme code, you will find references uh, to, SS, uh, to CSS files, uh, JavaScript files, and images. You can update the URLs of these assets to point uh, to the correct location of your HTML projects and make sure that includes the correct uh, file path of UR or URLs for each asset. 
And of course, Shopify themes use liquid simplates in language, which provide dynamic functionality of your Shopify theme. Includes any liquid tags for filters. You will need to convert to convert them to static HTML. Review the liquid tags and filter used uh, in your theme, and of course, and replace them with their HTML equivalent or remove them if you are uh, not necessarily for your static HTML version. Then, of course, at this point, you will have the basic structure structure of your WordPress or sorry, your Shopify website. In HTML, you can customize the HTML code as needed to match your desired design, and you can modify the layout, colors, fonts, and other visual elements. Additionally, you can even create and or modify a CSS file to add your custom styles and further enhance the appearance of your HTML website. Of course, before even finalizing the conversion, uh, the conversion of uh, Shopify to HTML, thoroughly test your HTML website to ensure that all pages, links, and images are working correctly. Even pay attention to responsive design, cross-browser compatibility, compatibility, and performance. And of course, optimize your HTML, CSS, and image files for faster loading time by minimizing the code and compressing images. And once you're satisfied with the HTML version in your Shopify website, you can host it on any web server or hosting platforms of your choice. Upload the HTML file, CSS file, and any other necessary assets to your web server. Make sure to configure the domain and DNS settings accordingly. Of course, if you're still facing any issues with HTML, uh, ChatGPT may help you. So simply go and open a new tab, go to uh, chat.org. Uh, openai.com and make sure to go log in for a, your account if you don't have an account if you have an account simply just go log in into it if you don't have an account you'll have to go and create one and this uh, chat will help you a lot improving your html file uh, for faster uh, for making your website faster as an example and a lot of other stuff so as an example you can paste your html code here and you can ask him to test it even and optimize it for for a better website for your own. You can even go and ask him for the best hosting of HTML websites. Of course, this ChatGPT will help you with anything you want, so make sure to go. And especially with the coding stuff, you can trust them with the coding stuff. If you are not maybe that good at HTML, at HTML, HTML, sorry, he will help you a lot or it will uh, chat GPT will help you a lot so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've successfully converted your shopify website to html in 23 now that you have a static version of your website that can be hosted and dependently remember dependently of course remember to regularly update your html version with any changes made on your shopify platform to keep your website up to date so if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. Good luck with your uh, new HTML website. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.